Welcome everybody, it's Habage, and I'm glad you're here. Thanks so much for coming in for some homemade hardcore vanilla Minecraft action. That's right, we are getting right back into it. Uh, I've been chomping at the bit, literally sitting here as I waited for the garbage trucks to get done and do their thing. I, I was trying to hear it back out again. It kind of, you know, goes up and does the last dumpsters and then uh, gets out. I didn't hear it, but uh, I think... We're still good. So, in the last episode, we did a bunch of flying around, and we got to here. And we decided that, you know what, this is a pretty dandy place. Let's turn this into our um, site for the eventual uh, attempt. And I think in today's... Today's episode, we are going to take off our wings, for, for now at least. Um, let's go down to the shore here. Put that all away. Um, let's get this. This is probably going to live here. Let's get a blue shulker, good old blue shulker, and let's dump the junk. Uh, not that the boats are junk, we'll put one boat here, just in case we want to go sailing around, but by and large, we are uh, just filling up with random stuff, right? Now, in our here... I don't think we need the goods, but we may need the tools. I don't think we need the potions at the moment. Uh, we'll hang on to the bed. I don't see any trees around, but y you may have guessed it just from what we were setting up here or, you know, just kind of knowing. Um, rather than a big hilly island, we want a... What? Oh, shoot. Now, are we okay? It is going down, so I just, I just wasn't thinking about it. I'm like, why is it? Why isn't my shovel working on the, the deal? Uh, because we still have mining fatigue. Uh, ha, ha, ha. But hopefully, we're outside the area, and that was just from our proof of concept swim around to go find them. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what other people have done, like, can we, can we put an Elder Guardian in a boat and confine it, like, move it away, can we throw a lead on one? I shudder to think what the other guardians would be doing to us through all that, but if we could move it out away from the temple... Uh, then we wouldn't have to worry about the Elder Guardians, and we could know it is right here and kind of make a a path up to it so we could go kind of stand at the edge of some water, let it hit us with the mining fatigue, and then turn around and get out. Uh, something to consider, right? Not from right here. As long as now that we've confirmed that this mining fatigue is here, if we get hit at it again while I clear off this end of the island... Uh, <laughs> we'll have to do some extra thinking, but we literally had to swim through a bunch of that temple just to find the Elder Guardian to hit us with the mining fatigue. So I think we're going to be all right. Um, I don't mind clearing down this island for a couple of reasons. One, it's just going to be easier to set up in a flat area, and if we need to expand it at all, uh, I'd rather do that down on ground level than up high. Um, oh, watch out for that. Uh, we also need particularly the sandstone, which I'm guessing is going to be underneath all of the sand that we're getting right now. Uh, back for our project in the hole. And we can use the sand if we really want to to craft more sandstone. But frankly, uh, I'd rather keep sand as sand. Uh, too many good uses concrete uh that's mainly gravel 
but I think we need sand. Sand, certainly for glass and uh, gunpowder, right? So, we'll hang on to it, go uh, check in on our supply. I know we've got quite a bit. Ooh. I just to get to everything I can reach from some of these corners. Are getting towards evening. I don't know. We haven't done any lighting yet, so we'll probably just sleep. Rather than risk too much mob peril. Uh, I don't even I don't even care too much about sorting this. Uh, it would be nice, you know, particularly if you're looking for just sand to keep those sorted into the chests. But we're not going to have that big of a sort when we do get back to the base, which I anticipate will probably be today. I think. As soon as we kind of level this out here, oh, the reason why I'm doing that right now is I'd like to lay some obsidian down and be ready for... Uh, get the portal ready and lit on this side so that we can then do the linking in the nether and at least have this site on our nether transportation network. Then we'll have to do the same kind of thing out in uh, the desert where our pillager outpost and village are side by side. And I don't think, I think with all the work that we have to do and wanting to get this part done. I don't think we're going to go to a, a raid farm itself for this one. Uh, at some point we may want to get that set up, uh, but I, as far as like farms and builds and things that I'd like to do, uh, well, the stuff we need to do for this is really just finish up where the shulker is going to come through uh, and work on transportation-y stuff. Uh, because we'll need to make the nether highway and ice it down so that it will be high speed. And then uh, figure out how we're going to transport Shulker across the world to us. Uh, and what... Uh, I don't know... It, with so much water, the the obvious appeal would be, can I just get in a boat with it? And if if I'm sitting with it in the boat, will its levitation have any effect? Um, right now, at least, our test shulkers in uh, at the test end city are too close to, to non-contained ones, so I don't know if I'm in with them will I just get levitated out of the boat or not? Something to find out, though. Alright, let's go up here. Because um, if... If sitting in the boat with the shulker isn't viable, uh, either just through damage and the amount of food we'd have to hold to just get it this far, or if I get levitated out of it, uh, while we're going, then <laughs> we're going to have to minecart. The advantage of the minecart is once once we put it in, for one thing, over by the hole uh, where it's going to come into the overworld, we don't have to do anything with it, right? We just put it in, hit the button, powered rails and all that, and it goes. And I think it it should be pretty easy uh, from there, you just gotta commit to building a huge rail system to get it to go. And I don't know that there's certainly weirdness when you start going 
uh, beyond game loaded chunks, right? Like we gotta kind of jump into the cart behind it and and go with it so that the game doesn't lose track and just lose our shulker somewhere out there on the rails. So that's a deal. Um, so we'll <laughs> we'll have a lot of a lot of moving parts here to figure out, but I think that's why I don't I don't care to get into yet uh, figuring out the raid farm. Um, can be nice, and it's a good source of totems, but I don't know that we need that many totems, right? I mean, we yes, we oh, we like to have a, a resupply, and we got some out of the woodland mansion. But if um, if that's all all we need, and we we don't get just too crazy and start popping them, I think we can manually run raids, and you know whether it's all us or whether we throw down a few. Uh, iron golems too to help clear those out quickly doesn't matter right you know we still still get plenty of totems as we go um, and this is really the only outside of just hey we we used a totem should we keep five or six in resupply it's the only time that we're ever gonna really need to raid again uh, the other the other advantage out of the raids is getting uh, hero of the village for trading, but we've got so many emeralds, and I don't, I don't tend to live in the economy stuff as much as like you know. I, I know if you're on an S and P or something like that, that's everything. And in that point, um, getting hero of the village is important. Uh, frankly, the easier, <laughs> the easier way to do it is to. Uh, set up your villager trading hall with zombies and infecting and then curing them before uh, trading rather than going to the trouble of heroes. So I I don't know. Uh, I don't see a huge need for, um, for a raid farm unless you're trying to, you know, trying to do a completionist thing on all the various farms and all that and honestly you know hey <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves right let's not look that far and that's really all i'm trying to do is we don't need to fool around with all that we we know how to uh get through raids and as long as we don't have the random disappearing weapon fun uh it's kind of low stress if we lose our weapon or if we build a little thing where we can't see our enemies and they just keep uh, kicking vexes at us, get pretty dangerous. So uh, hopefully we can have a good situation uh, to work our way through. And you don't need to have any particular level of raid. So we just need first tier bad omen when we go about doing that. All right, there's our island clear. See, not too painful. So now, uh, six stone. Yeah, let's let's keep an extra stone just in case, because I don't know what all we're gonna need here. So now let's grab these up. Did I get that? Yeah, I got both. Oh, we're uh, blue shulkers probably back at zero zero. I hope. Let's put that in for now. And let's get that. So we're going to leave this. Grab this. Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> we're not done yet because we hopefully have some obsidian. Try in goods. There we go. And I don't see much of a reason to be skimpy on this one because uh, I don't want to run into any issues with 
anything we're bringing here having issues. I don't know. I don't know what the, all that may entail, but probably not a ghast. <laughs> That's probably the biggest, uh, biggest thing. There you go. I think four by four by four, nice square shape. Then let us plop down enough torches to keep this. And yeah, <laughs> I've been playing a long time before 118, so I'm gonna torch kind of at. Uh, the original light levels. A lot of these are going to go away as we set up our little area here, but for now, safe is better than sorry. We got some turtles to spectate for us. All right. Now... I can go away. Why do we have black wool? <laughs> Seems very confusing. Why, if we need some wool, why don't we have a different color that doesn't confuse us with obsidian? It's already sleeping time again. Let's do that. I think we should be okay. Uh, we are at 17 minutes, so let's remember that. Because I did not look. I was all ready to start at like a fixed time. And be good to go. Uh, what do we think? Is a flint and steel a tool? Or a gear? <laughs> ah, look at that. All right. So before we do this, let's grab the coordinates. I guess this is the problem with not being uh, completely centered. All right, 1280, negative 323. Let's mark that. Oh, I shut my notepad yesterday. All right. So this actually became 1280 negative 323 and now I gotta go back through the same math that we just did uh, I'm sure whoa let's get the zero there not 128 that would be a disaster 1280 divided by 8 is 160 still no question mark now I don't know why I have a question mark and uh, 323 Three. Do we have a change there? Still f is forty, so we change that by two. So again, not a you know we would have grabbed the same portal, I'm sure, but now we know one sixty at negative forty. That is our coordinate on the nether side for this one, All right? So light. Get there. That's our way home. Um, let's leave that. Do the boat. Yeah, let's we'll go around the island here. Now, I don't know how far we, how far we end up from. Spawn and uh, the creeper farm, right? I think this is just our general direction back, but we may run into the ice in the ocean. That could be tough. Here's the ice. So we'll try to swing wide.
we've got big fluffy wet snow today i love love big flake snow it's it's heavy and you know not not slow gentle big flakes uh this is the kind that are falling rapidly not settling to the ground and it's wet enough that it is dripping off something on the breezeway and it I don't normally get this, but it must be just like catching a puddle because it is like plop, 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 plop. And I know you guys can't hear it. It's not that loud, but it's like, wow, don't get that sound effect too often. Uh, more often, if it's raining, I'll get, and maybe that's what drowns it out. I'll hear from the like metal cover of the chimney up on the roof. I'll hear it through my fireplace. They'll Tink, 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 as the raindrops fall on that, so uh, maybe that's why I don't hear the the little occasional drips and plops out elsewhere. So I hope we are setting up well for this run. It's been a long. <laughs> I mean, we've had we've had a great run here in YouTube as I've been working on this, but I've been you know uh, the HCMC has been something I've been looking at for a long, long time. Um, I you know I guess since it was a thing and everybody else was first running off it, uh, but I'd been playing hardcore before that and. Early enough, beating the dragon and some of that kind of... Alright, come on, game. Catch up. Beating the dragon and all that. Okay, yeah, you know, I can I can do that pretty competently. A little drowned floating over there. Uh, on a... Outside of the beginning of the game, when, you know, I think everybody is kind of held equal. If you can, if you can get to the point when your gear and such, you know, you found diamonds, you're not just running around in iron or less. At that point, um, pretty competent to get some of this stuff done. Um, and there have been a couple worlds that I've just kind of walked from, or I've lost lap, to, you know, over the years, right? You, you have a big, well-established world, but you don't back it up because it's just yours. And, um, You can say lose a laptop and just be out that world. Uh, do I need to go out and around this? And what the heck is that? Have I looked at that tree before? I'm like, what? What happened there? I don't think I did that. Did I? Why would I have done that? still kind of think we have to go around this point and that the uh, dark room spawner is out in the distance somewhere around here I, I should do a better job of remembering what all those values are but there's too many of them There it is. So beautiful. Um, so should we stop here? Should we boat all the way on into home? Oh, look at those awesome. Let's boat over one of the amethyst geodes, the big one. Look at them all in there. I love that you can see down in there. It's so cool. All of our awesome, productive geode nodes. All right. Up we go. Um, we can try to get some improvement on these guys. Or not. Not. 
I guess they all de I it makes sense that they despawn. Well, I was like, oh yeah, we'll just hang out here and, and uh generate some more creepers. Never mind. No wasted time here. We got plenty of tools. I'm not like I said, I'm not looking to just do repairs in the midst of this unless we have to. If we get to the point of having to, so uh back that way somewhere is where we're gonna try to get to. But before we do that, let's swing by the base. Uh, actually, let's go gather up those other chests or empty them. Do we need more shulkers? Let's get get more out of the base for this close. Because I don't think we're going to need dirt and stone right there. What's up, dude? See ya. Uh, I'm gonna come right here. <laughs> I'll do white. It should be a, no. That wouldn't necessarily be enough. So we can do a couple more. You know, let's. Uh, let's not sweat it. Okay, so now we're going to go out to uh, the spawn portal, which, you know, yeah, we could probably or possibly switch out and make a... make another portal at the zero zero if we want to at some point we could but i think this will serve well enough uh where's the mountain there's the mountain there's the beacon Just start out high enough. Stay up here. We can kind of keep running. Now I think we can keep running. Timed one. Oh, we got them both. All right. Now. Do that. That. Uh. <laughs> you can at least get the sand. Sleep. And don't we have stone area? Let's put those in for now. All right. All this stuff can go in with this random sand. Uh, and then didn't we have... Ooh, that's a lot. That's more than a shulker. But maybe we can get this bottom row. Okay. Now... Shulker. <laughs> so not worth. Get 
get in there. That was really six. Oh, so we're right to it. Oh, well, six. Dang it. All right. Not very efficient. But these two are now good. This one needs to be filled. Uh, we do have dirt. Uh, I also got stone. I know this is an awful way to do this. Good and that. Okay. One more of these. And that is good. We still have ores. I think out of one of these. Dirt. Nothing. Nothing. Do we leave them all in here? Yeah, let's... Uh, um, let's just do one of these. Uh... Don't know. That we may not need some of that. So let's leave some coal and some iron. We can cook a little bit of wood. We can take this. We got all the rest. Uh, I don't think any of the rest of this does us any good. Sitting around here, right? And I really don't care too much about the uh, dirt. I'll just leave that in all the wood boxes here. Okay, so now all of this. Uh, Beacon box? Should we leave it by the beacon? Cause we may need that. I don't know what for yet, but... Just so we don't lose it. Alright, everything's good. He oh no. We need these guys. Do have enough room. And one more for the bed. Alright. Not bad. Did you see me almost pop back out into full bunny hop mode? Only we're gonna make it up here though. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Run first, then jump.
All right. Well, that's going good. So I still hope we can uh, get back out to wherever we want to end up. Terrain is going to entirely decide that, really, but and maybe just determine which <laughs> which angle we want to approach it from would be a win. Okay, now so much to clean. Sort. I'm not going to try. We know these are all used. That's going to go away. <laughs> Nether rack. All that we used will probably fill back in here. Just a matter of nothing. Uh, there was one white shulker that we had full of random stuff. And that's empty, too. Alright, let's go put all of these back. Sorry, I don't know a quicker way to get these in and appropriate placed blue down here and this one I actually want to come back out here I'm just trying to free up as much inventory so we don't have to have that painful back and forth you two go here I don't know if we'll have to do updates or anything hey doggy all right everything Most of it goes here. Right. But then this one has some stuff here. Flint. Slime. Clay. Clay. What did I do with the clay? Did we get rid of it? Uh, it could be over by terracotta, but I don't think it is. Oh, no. What did I do with clay? Well, until I relocate it, or if anybody knows, leave me a comment. But we'll use uh, whatever had been there. All right. Spruce. Spruce. Don't have logs, but we do have leaves and bundles. We got some fish. What do I want to do with the fish right now? Uh, put stuff for ups upstairs there. All right, now dirt sod, granite. All right, there's one done. Dirt. Much quicker when we can just do this. And dirt. Two down. Netherrack. Three done. Nice. That's kind of like an end to the bridge. <laughs> May if phase stone, more stone, and maybe more. Not more stone. More stone. Here you slime. 
controls all this sand and clay and gravel and the rest of those are different so sand did I put clay down here with sand I don't see it here either For a while there, we were cooking so much of it, it really didn't matter, did it? Oh, I didn't put the gravel away either. So those two, that one's going to be a mess. Stone. Ugh. Here's more stone. Plenty of room left to finish it off. room so let's just go here overflow all right we have one box full of boats that was stone that's done that's done that's the boats or that is dun dun dirt So aside from the boats and the random wood stuff, we are good to go. That is that one. Okay, just a quick check while that slime comes over here. I think we need these. The rest of this stuff may actually be worth carrying around. I don't know if we need to readjust our color scheme, but let's get these. Um, any slabs that we do do, I think we'll want to do copper, cut copper. But we are desperately short we got three and a, a bit stacks of new copper and then a few odd pieces uh here banner here slabs seeds and fish do we have torches made we do hey look at that All right, back down, refill. Well, I guess we can refill right here, uh, but I don't want to forget the other good boxes. How do we have anything? Oh, uh, boy. Well, 
it's just all pearls, I guess. That can go away. All of those are good. All these are good, but these two. Um, uh, where's this boats? Guess that can stay there. Uh, this was all pearls. Is it all pearls, really? That could be a fake out. It is all pearls. Alright, I think we can move those into a chest downstairs. And then tidy those up. Now, what do we have up here? Is there anything that needs to come up here while we're up here? More boats. The pants. Uh, and now. Pants. Don't need them. Okay. All the rest of that can go downstairs. All the rest of that can go downstairs. I did eat up a bunch more time than I'd really hoped for, but eh, it's it, that went all the way back to our nether bridge building stuff that we had to clean up. So let's go put... Oh, I didn't put those dumb boats away. Uh, here... Here, start. They're mostly that stuff. And then this one. Just come into the ender eye section. That's done. Let's go put these away <laughs> so that we can get our inventory spot this back so we can dump all that dirt and everything else that needs to go. Right. These are mostly done except for the ones that we keep for storage identification. White is done. And that is done. So now... Sand. Lots of sand. So that's what happens when you clear an island of sand. And take the sod and the gravel. Gravel. Gravel, sod, sand, please fit. We do have that overflow area, which is definitely sandable. Uh, random, sandstone, dirt, and granite. Oh, more slime pieces. You piece of slime. Boats and more boats somewhere. Right? What do we do with all those other boats? How did I lose that now? Were those the boats? That all the boats there were? I guess I hope so. Alright. Blue Shulker. Blue Shulker. Those two both have their homes behind us. We got one. Oh, these had all the boats. 
guess if we're carrying around a box of boats, that's a good place to put the rest of the boats, right? These go here. Uh, I don't want to... I want that copper, but I don't want to waste time fortuning it right now. Uh, cyan... Boats. We got bones and one bottle. So close. All right. Let's go finish our assault on this. Uh, how did we get here? Stuff, right? So easy. <laughs> Joking, guys. All right, uh, I know it's not totally needed yet, but let's swap that at least. Shovel, I think, can stay for now. We'll see. Keep an eye on it and keep it ready to go. Okay, you come back with us. And now that we are all set up... We'd likely have no cobble. <sighs> Let me just check. I think we started with cobble, right? Of course we did. Okay, well, let's... Glad we're not going that way. Uh, let's at least rough out our space here. So let's remind ourselves of the numbers. We got about 10 minutes. Um, we want 160 negative 40. So we are at zero. How far does this get us? should really really be uh toting this around on my toolbar so this can be our our long run we may box everything together uh, but let's see what this gets us to at 160. Right, we're still at this lava lake. Forty, twenty more to go. we'll need to improve these. I do want to have at least the option of running ice boat uh, between these just for the time of the challenge itself. Coming, right? We're getting lava. Because I haven't been down here in a long time. I'm out of practice. It's going to fall down my head. Okay, so there's 160. Don't think we want to go... on it probably short would be better uh, and then just put it off to the back corner right because you never know where future stuff may lie
finish out this hallway, though, and then I think we'll go at... Eh. Uh, let's put... One fifty-five here on our wall. We won't go all the way to one fifty. So now it's just a, and this is the part we won't get done today. I don't think. Uh, maybe we can. Should we just? Well, that's how far that gets us. Um. Probably doesn't matter if this is all under ice anyway, right? So that cobble bit, you can just use whatever we got. I'm not just saying that because we don't have cobble. Well, I kind of am, but... Oh! Too slow, dude. What? Why did you just freeze? Don't freeze. Thank you. I hear other stuff. Just to be safe, didn't know what was underneath those. Alright, now. What do we want? Negative 40, so about 200 blocks. A shot. Like I said, there will always be sections in here that are. Ugh, look at it all go. Probably a big old lake. Yep. these pieces off to find out where the other little gaps might be. Try. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even get through. I didn't even get close to what I was looking Oh, man. All right, well, that. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a magma block, so you're tough, all right. Does that do us? Till the next one, right? Speaking of which, oh man. The next one. part is that this is all elevated above what we're clearly reaching is a lava -less sea or section so it's really fun to have extra stuff right before we get there all right so we are going to have uh, that to cross. We won't get uh, get that done here today. If we're not already over, we're getting really close. But uh, make good progress. We did did some much needing inventory, needed inventory reset shuffle. And looks like we're going to be in the warped forest when we do uh, finally get set up. And we know that warped forest because we've gone... So we're running now parallel to the, the hallway that goes to our spawn, right? A couple, 160 blocks off, right? That one's at zero. It's 150. And early on, when we needed... Uh, Uh, did we just need materials for the dr the drowned farm? Might have been. We made a lot of use of that forest, gathering up uh, warp stems and whatnot. So let me find some old traces of ourselves back there. Uh, may just get a little long here. Sorry about that, but. Yeah, this is a good section to get done, right? And we are still gathering stuff up. All this basalt, I think we'll use the same way we did just there. Just make three wide, no guardrails uh, for now to get to the spot. And set the, you know, figure out, is it underground? Is it above ground? What do we need? And then... Once we have everything uh, coordinated or mapped out, then we'll uh, secure and light that portal. Make sure it's linked up. And then we'll do the same far down, because this is going to be like a right turn, right? We're going to go from way down there up to here, right turn, and then that way... And the other side will be the, um, uh, that, somewhere around that temple and the desert pillager tower and village where we've done the raid. So we'll put up a, you know, a safe distance away, but we'll set up a, a portal there that we can go do the raid, get Bad Omen one more time, hop in the portal, come back over here, hop on an ice boat, and then, you know, basically go from way down there here, right turn, uh, as far as uh, negative 40 on this direction, and be there to run the rest of it. So.
That's going to do it for this episode, though. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let's go ahead and get that back out to the game screen. Yeah, we are an hour and six. I, I kind of got caught in that lava, but wanted to at least get to that point. So I think probably just based on looking across there, by the time we get across the lava, we should be, and if not there, then pretty close. And we can look at, you know, do we then want to look at different paths, but... Kind of getting there, getting established, and then we can make shortcuts or whatever on the what we want to actually ice over as our uh, interconnect. But, man, this makes it kind of feel like, all right, we're getting ready for the actual attempt as opposed to just playing with shulkers and all that. Lots more to do, but uh, good progress today. Thanks for being here with me. Uh, if you are enjoying this and are uh, enjoying the chase for the HCMC 100, please uh, likes and comments always appreciated. And remember, subscribing or following on Twitter are the best ways to know when those videos do drop. So we'll see you for the next one. Stay awesome out there, my guys. And uh, if you are seeing snowfall, go out and play in it. Take care. Bye now.